Hi, thank you for tuning in to Jeffrey the Master Barber. Right now we're doing uh, switching the blade. As you can tell in that one, that blade right there, it bent. The reason why this blade bends, because it's definitely too thin, and and it does blend, uh, bend, believe it or not. And when you know we don't we don't want that. We uh, we're gonna get the same one. This is a Fame Master Andy. Them, uh, we, these are the tools that we're gonna use. We're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna use Cool Care, and um, also we're gonna have a, a little brush to clean it, because I'm sure there's gonna have some hair. So, like I said, this machine, um, the Andy 90 Edition, comes with a, a thicker blade. It, um, it's the to take bulk, but this one I switched it before to the what it is right now. The Fame Master, and you see the gap right there. That that gap is no good. It still work, but it's still not good because with that space and the other T right there, you see that T in that space. It, when you do want to fade, and someone has a big poruses could go inside of the porous, and and that's not a good look. You you want nothing but the best for you, client. They pay you and you want to make sure that you, you give them the nothing but the best. So right now, we're going to fix that. We're going to spend that $20, $25, $30 on the blade. And we're going to replace it with a new one. Um, make sure you put a... See, is I clean my, my, my machines weekly. But just because I clean it weekly, I, I, I go through 100 clients a week at least. So they are bound to get always hair. You know what I mean? You, it, 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 even if you clean it weekly, they will get hair back in. You know what I mean? Just because you brush it outside and, and you put uh, lubrication and coolant, that doesn't mean that it's, it's just clean. So every week, if you can, or every two weeks, you know, just uh, take the time to calibrate it, uh, clean the blade inside, take it out. Don't just wait for the uh, also for the um something to happen in order to clean it but um just cl clean it where you can these are the, the blade that, that we're gonna use as you see me uh i took it and i cleaned the other ones and um see this is the replacement blade from um from the machine that's actually right there it's the same machine same engine the only thing that changes is the blade the blade is uh it comes in this box right so we're gonna um this is the review by the way also on the fame master um blade all right and um excuse me by my voice i've been a little sick under the weather so um yeah this is you see it's, everything is brand new it's the same same thing you know what i mean that actually the old one the, the teeth are fine there's no broken teeth or no bent tea so we could just keep them so we're gonna put it aside and we're gonna put that one aside now we're gonna show you actually look this is how the blade looks see this one is perfect no bending it's beautiful it's brand new now, I'm, then I, now this is the dirty one uh we're gonna clean it you know like i say i always clean mine week or every two weeks you know because once you have it to sit in, it takes 15 minutes to sit in and, and, and get it right, get calibrated, clean and everything. So, see, we just, that's all it takes, you know. And then, obviously, you would have put some Andy and, and whatnot, but since we're not using it, I'm just, look. You see where you can see like, that it's, it's bent compared to how it's supposed to be? To In order to get that crispy, nice, sharp fade, you want everything to be perfect on point nothing broken nothing nothing bent so we're just gonna put this aside um that right there is still usable so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna wrap it up and I, i'm gonna put it aside on my box of you know my little young car, key art in case if i do ever that other one broke for some reason or anything i still have a little buck up not the big blade but the small blade so always save it because it's still in good condition the 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 little one so you know that you have it put it back 
and it's container so you know that it's still like presentable and you, instead of throwing it uh also we're gonna clean the inside of the machine right now we're gonna take the time to do that and what we're gonna do is we basically we're not we're gonna brush it you know um the machine is unplugged in case if anybody wondering you have to make sure that it's unplugged all right i'm gonna get to this thing this is the lever right that lever this is where you put it up and down right and you see i got it right there to the way that i like it it doesn't move it's not too hard or not too soft but if in case you wanna ever wonder how to put it too tight or too slow you see those four screws you tie it little by little each and screw and check it and and it will firm that base right there so um that's for that right but if you want to calibrate it and zero gap then you have to take those two screw right there with a flat and then you go to with another type of screw it's not a screwdriver or, or a flat but it's a different one and then you move the the holder of that base and but i already did mine i already zero gap it um calibrate it before um we're gonna like i said clean them again make sure everything is nice and clean and um we're gonna put it in, and this is where it goes like i say we're gonna use coolant uh cool care it's five in one disinfected uh you know clean it let the little bit inside to kind of lubricate and disinfect and all that you don't have to put a lot and even if you wipe it you still the inside will get some and 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 it will work just fine um then you put the the little blade right there right once it's right there this is how it's supposed to look nice and flat and even right now we're gonna put the other piece on top right and once you um put that you're gonna put the screws but you don't know you're not gonna put it too tight you're just gonna put it enough so we could then adjust everything and and have it the the way that it's supposed to be but as of right now i feel like i'm drunk <laughs> i can't even uh, but yeah now right there once you have it see it's all crooked and whatnot but see it's not tight but that give me the freedom to now to fix it first thing that we're gonna check is that you see the width right there that side is a little bit uh less than that and then that side so we're gonna try to make sure kind of make it right even and that's the one side of the first point sec you know make sure that then the second part is to um the second tip of it is to make sure see once you have it there then you gotta make sure that it's not too tight you know you want to have right there that side is, is thick but that side don't have no no tip. that means that i still have it right see like right there it's not it's still too tight zero it's still zero gap so that will cut somebody that's that is not good see how we it, it keep moving it's because i'm trying to make sure that i get it to the level that is gonna be with the that we're gonna have. see right there right right there is is with even though it's not the same space all right at top it does have the the space that i need now see it's, it has a little space and it's completely see even right there where i'm showing but it's still a little bit too tight to me just want to get a little bit more out you don't want to zero gap because like i said see you see how that blade is more out and that one is in that's how it's supposed to but still to this point it could it could cut someone so um at this point i'm just gonna tie tie it right we're gonna tie the screw and then we're gonna see we're gonna make sure that when you about to tie it you 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 make sure that you hold the blade and these are the fingers look at my finger hold that finger so the lever doesn't move because the pressure from the back of the blade so you're gonna you know you it, it when you put the the blade within the screw it's gonna move so you make sure that finger is there and then now the finger holding that that corner and then that the thumb holding the other one 
and make sure that the space is even. Once you have it that is all even and your fingers are holding it in place, then you're about to um then you then you could tie it. All right? Then you tie little one by one, little by little, all right? Then you check it, all right? And how you going to check it and 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 test it? You see how I'm doing my forearm? The forearm is very sensitive. It's like the neck, and that's where normally you will pass it. And if and and that if it bothers anybody in the neck, it will bother me right there in that section. So right now, he bothered. It, it really did bother me a little bit. It was still pinching me. See, like right now, I could feel it. I'm testing it. So if I pass it to a neck, and I'm feeling that little pinch on the on. See, I, I'm pointing right there that it's pinching me. See, it's pinching me more on the on the on the left side. See, on that part where I point, that part right there, that blade is pinching me right there. So if it's doing that to me, it margin to the client. So I just want to be safe and sorry. So now we're gonna go. Even if you have to again and don't lose it, do the whole thing again. Do it. Do it. How many times it take you, and until. When you try it in your forearm and you don't get that pinch, then now at this point I got it right. It took me like two, three times, but I'm not. I didn't record it. But you see that gap right there? That's like the sign of a uh, ten cents, like a dime. But you see the width? That's perfect right there. You know what I mean? Like you don't want it. You don't want it to to be zero gap because trust me. It will cut somebody. It will bother. But you see the space. Even if it's still a little on the side or whatnot, it's okay. As long as the blade is straight. Right now, at this point, I'm trying it again. And as you could tell, I'm putting a lot of pressure. And there's no red marks. And I'm putting a lot of pressure. And at this point, look, I'm passing it the, the hairs. People are like, you crazy. All right, I'm a barber. I gotta do it with me than anybody else. If I'm gonna test it, I test it in me. If and if I got hurt, I gotta get hurt than my client. I look out for my client before uh, before anything happened. So I hope, uh, yeah, just put um also clean it. Make sure you clean it. Even if you uh put some cool care and then you wipe it off, don't worry. It still will get sanitized and lubricated. You will not take some off. But I hope this uh has helped you to set your handy blade. Please share it, give thumbs up, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Leave any comment below, any question, please feel free to let me know at any time. Thank you again and have a great night.